Hey everybody, this is John Simmons with the Simmons Realty Team and welcome back to our video blog. Okay, today we're going to talk about rentals. Today alone I took three uh, calls on rentals, two of which the people are not making money to cover their cost. One of which is somebody who is looking to buy rental properties. Guys, when it comes to rental properties, it's all about the numbers. That's all it's about. It's not about how nice the house looks, how pretty the house is, I really like this house. It's not your primary residence. It's all about the numbers. And too many people don't know the numbers to pay attention to. Okay, obviously you gotta pay attention to costs. But some of the things that you need to pay attention to is you gotta add your taxes in, you gotta add your HOAs in, how much is that costing you every month? Your insurance. But some really important thing is your vacancy rate. Do you put down a vacancy rate when you figure out your bottom line, your your, your numbers? Because it's not like your house is going to, or your, your whether it's a house, a condo, whatever the property is, it's not like it's going to be rented every month of the year or every week of the year. You're going to have some vacancy rates. So do you include that in your cost? Do you want to deal with the property? Are you going to put it on the market with a realtor? If so, you've got to take into consideration um, commissions. Every time you relist it, you have to take into consideration your repair cost. Are you budgeting money towards repairs? Because if you're not, you're going to see that, hey, this looks great, but all of a sudden, washer dryer, appliances, hot water heater, AC, God help us roof. You've got to be able to, uh, every month, Set it aside in your account so that when something breaks, you have to be able to take care of it. I know a lot of this sounds like common sense, but you'd be surprised how many phone calls I get from people who are getting just killed by cost of owning a property and they're not making enough money. But in the end, when you add up all these things, some of the most important things that you have to pay attention to is your things like your, near, your nearly net income. Uh, and, and, and truthfully, what you're looking at is your annual op operating expenses, minus your gross income, and that will give you your yearly net income. However, making $500 a year or $1,000 a year is probably not enough. I like to look at a break-even of about 80, 85%. And I also look at a, like to look at a rental yield of somewhere between minimum four, but truthfully, I like to look at a 5%, 5 to 6% rental yield. These are all probably some numbers that some of you are like, well, what does that actually mean? And I can go into that. Feel free to give me a call and I can go into all that information. Um, I just wanted to touch base on a few of these subjects because again, it, it's, it's a hard phone call to take when somebody is losing money on their house and they're pulling money out of their personal bank account to pay for this. So if you have any questions about a rental properties or how it works and finding the correct numbers, I have a spreadsheet right here that I can just plug the numbers in and it spits it out and tells you, yes, either do it or no, do not do it. But again, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Again, John Simmons, 561-662-7358. Even if you want to just play around with the idea of it, you don't necessarily have to buy a property. If you just want to try to get some information, feel free to give me a call. I love to hear from you and uh, I'll help you out any way I can. Guys, have a great rest of the summer. School starts, uh, public school starts in about a week. So good news. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.